Hello friends, good morning. In my previous video, I described what is anatomy, its definition, what is dissection. Now I am going to tell you about how to study gross anatomy. So, don't worry, it is simple. Yeah, smile. So, gross anatomy should be studied in normal anatomical position. So next question should be what is normal anatomical position, right? So anatomical position is standard reference position of the body used to describe the location of structures. It could be the location of stomach, liver or it could be the location of heart. Okay, now the next question should be how to define anatomical position right so anatomical position should be defined as a person standing upright and facing forwards the next is he is upperly by the side with the palms facing forwards and his lower limb together with the toes facing forward and the last one is the his mouth should be closed and facial expression is neutral okay now the next question should be why do we use the anatomical terms so the answer is to describe the location of structures of the body. So there are three pairs of the terms we use to describe the location of the structures relative to the body. So there are three pairs of the terms which are the So first one is the anterior and posterior. So anterior is also known as the ventral, which means structures lies in front. They are related with the planes which I describe in my next video. And the posterior is also known as the dorsal, which means the structures present behind or at the back. Now let's take an example. Here in our body, the sternum lies anteriorly and the position of the vertebral column, it lies posteriorly. It is a simple example. Okay, now the next term is medial and lateral. Okay, so these two terms, medial and lateral, describe the position of the structures relative to the median sagittal plane and the sides of a the body. So these two terms are related with the median sagittal plane. So here the median means nearer to the median plane and the term meaning of the lateral which means away from the median plane. Okay now let's take an example of our hand in normal anatomical position so in this normal anatomical position our little finger it lies medially whereas the thumb lies laterally we can also say that the little finger is medial to the thumb which lies lateral the similar example is the example of our foot in normal anatomical position in which the great toes lies medially and little toe lies laterally. Right? Okay, now the next term is superior and inferior. So these two terms superior and inferior in which superior which means Cranial and cephalic. The cephalic is used for the embryology, which means nearer to the head. And the inferior, it is also known as the portal, which means closer to the feet. 
Now let's take a simple example. Our head is superior to the shoulders. Now we should learn one more term, few other terms, the proximal and distal. These terms proximal and distal are used particularly in the limbs, so they are for the limbs. Now the proximal is used with the reference to being closer from a structure's origin or we can say a root. And the term distal is used with the reference to being further from the structure's origin or root. Now let's take an example of the joints. The elbow joint is proximal to the wrist joint. Right? And if we take a reference of the shoulder joint, in this condition, shoulder joint become proximal to the both the joint, elbow and as well as the wrist joint. Okay, now next last one is the superficial and deep. Now these two terms are used to describe the relative position of two structures with respect to the surface of the body. So it is related with the surface of the body and relative position of the two structures. Now let's take an example. In our body, heart is deep in relation to the sternum. Okay, now let's make it simple. In this lake, you can easily see which structures lies deep and which one is superficial. So these fishes are in deep and the maple leaf it lies superficially, it floats superficially. It's a simple example. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.